guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. If you're new and you haven't seen my beautiful face before on YouTube, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because it is free and it don't take no time. Like it literally takes two seconds. So make sure you do that and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video from me. I've got some exciting holiday vlogs coming up so I know y'all don't want to miss that. So make sure you subscribe. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys all the essentials that I'm going to be taking with me on holiday. I've actually wrote down a whole list on my phone because I don't want to miss anything. I'm going a long way travelling across the sea and I need to make sure that I've got everything and that I'm organised because I'm literally going in about 5 days. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys everything and I hope this video is helpful if you're going on holiday and you don't know what to take. So the first thing that you're going to need, which is the most essential thing ever, is of course a suitcase. Now my allowance is 20kg, so I got a medium suitcase from Matalan. I got the IT Luggage Venezia suitcase in the size medium and it was £45. I got it from Matalan and this is one of those hard shell suitcases that have four wheels and this suitcase is blue y'all know blue is my favorite color i love blue so much so i decided to get this suitcase in blue so the next essential that you need is a passport and document holder i got this from amazon and it was literally eight pounds i love the pattern detail that it has going on and i love the fact that it has all these different compartments that you can put your documents your boarding pass your passport and everything so you can't really lose them you can also keep your phone and money and like a lot of stuff in this because it's quite big. So I don't know if you guys knew about suitcase straps but if you didn't then get to knowing because these are going to come in very handy when you're trying to spot your suitcase on that luggage thing you know when you're in the airport and they, you have to collect your luggage yeah. This makes your suitcase so bright and easy to spot. I got a pack of two from Amazon and what I like about them is that they're adjustable and they also come with this little label so you can write your address and where you're staying and your number on it so it's you know it's a good little feature and it's gonna help your suitcase to stand out from everyone else's which is what I love. This bright pink on my suitcase, the baby blue colour, listen it's gonna be so easy to spot and the thing that I like about Amazon and these products is that they have a lot of different colours in neon like they have yellow, green, a lot of different bright colours as well so that's good and it's cheap as well so if you're travelling soon I definitely 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 recommend you getting a travel scale this will save your life it was $1.99 from Savers I actually picked this up so I can weigh my suitcase before I travel because I don't want to go to the airport and then my suitcase is like overweight and then I get charged because I ain't nobody got money for that and I ain't got time to be putting on all these jumpers and that like I ain't got time okay so I got myself a cheap scale to weigh my suitcase and you know like hopefully it works <laughs> it should work so yeah when I get to the airport everything's gonna be fine I'm not gonna be charged for anything my suitcase won't be overweight thanks to this little bad boy so I picked up this travel adapter from Savers and it was literally one pound I know that where I'm staying will possibly have these adapters I'm not 100% sure but I think that they might do because I'm staying in a hotel and obviously it's for tourists so they know people traveling from America they know people traveling from the UK and we don't all have the same adapters so I think some of the rooms or all of the rooms have these adapters but I'm not too sure so I ain't gonna trust them I'm not gonna depend on them I'm gonna get my own I actually picked up two of these because you know that's what I'm like <laughs> yeah and they're very light as well so you know it's not really taking up much weight so if you're like me and you're traveling to a country that don't have the UK sockets then make sure you bring yourself a travel adapter you don't want to depend on the hotel and then when you get there you don't they don't get no travel adapters, do you know what I'm saying? So make sure you pick yourself up one of these, they're very cheap, like literally one pound. So these are some travel bottles that I got from Primark, it's a set of five and they're one pound. And they also have one of those little round pots in that you can put like, I don't know, Vaseline or something inside of. I essentially got it because it has these little bottles that I can pour liquids lotions or whatever I need to inside of them which is very handy because it's the right size that you need for travel and they're lightweight as well so it won't take up a lot of room in your suitcase 
So another vital, vital essential that you're going to need is suitcase locks. And I got a set of two of these locks from Amazon. These are the ones that have the code on them. So you can set the code. You don't need a key to open it, which is what I love about them. Of course, I got them in the blue because you know me, I love blue. So I decided to get them in the blue. And I just love how small they are and they're just easy to use basically so this is a beach bag that i'm gonna need you know when i'm on the beach or if i'm walking around and i need to put any essentials in it while i'm out enjoying myself on holiday so this one i'm not even sure where it's from i don't know the price of it because it's my mum. she got it as a gift for christmas and i'm basically taking it on holiday with me because i really really like it what i love about this bag is that you can actually fold it up Oh, it's a Sarah Jessica Parker bag. So what I love about this bag is that you can fold it up like this. So it's small and compact. It can fit inside your suitcase. And then you can, you know, open it up. And it's a huge beach bag. And the material of it is waterproof. It is this, like, you know those materials that waterproof jackets are made out of? Is that waterproof so it's not cloth and it won't get wet. I'm also taking another beach bag with me. This one is my favourite, favourite, favourite. With this one, you can't actually fold it up like the other bag that I just showed you, but it is a cloth material, so it will get wet, it's not waterproof. But with this one, you can literally like fold it up like this, but it don't have that hook thing that the other one had. You can just do this. It's not that difficult. I actually got this from Jamaica when I went there in 2014. I got it from my cousin, and it says I Heart Jamaica on it, and it has like this what's this called like splashes of paint all over it which is what I love I love it so much it looks so nice and I'm going to be using this as a beach bag when I'm out there so here's a tip if you're going on holiday and you don't want to have an extra suitcase with you as a carry-on you can always take one of these like beach bags and then use it as a carry-on on the plane put your laptops in it put whatever you need your makeup your phone whatever and then when you're on the beach you can use it as a beach bag so you're essentially saving space with travel equipment travel bags and then you're doubling up so yeah it's gonna be my travel bag and my beach bag I also bought this makeup bag from Amazon which was $11.99 I love the colour of it so much and I love the fact that it has so much different compartments but after I bought it I realised that it's literally too big for my suitcase it's going to take up so so much space in my suitcase so I decided to use this instead for my makeup with this you can unwrap it like this and it has a lot of different compartments so you have one clear zipped compartment down here you have another one in the middle that you can actually remove from the bag itself and just have a clear container that you can put makeup in or whatever you need oh yeah and there's a zip underneath as well so that's good and yeah like I can put my makeup in here if it fits I'm trying to be minimal with the makeup guys so can you see what I can fit in this bag hopefully it's a lot because I literally bought that big makeup bag to carry with me and then I realized like that is gonna take up a lot lot of space I got this one from my mom I'm not sure oh actually yeah it's from Primark so I got this one from Primark it was because my mum's but I'm taking it with me and I'm assuming it's quite cheap because you know it's Primark those are all the vital essentials that you're going to need if you're actually going on holiday you know your suitcases and everything so now let's move on to toiletries that you're going to need so first of all i've got a toothbrush of course that you're going to need and this one actually comes with the little tiny toothpaste like honestly i got this from a hotel and i got this toothbrush case from primark it was literally one pound I got Nivea Sun and Protect sunscreen from Wilkinson. This is actually like a bronzing oil, but it has sunscreen inside of it. It has SPF 20, and I mean, my usual sunscreen is SPF 50, but because this is a bronzing oil and they didn't have it in SPF 50, I decided to get this one. It's gonna work for me, hopefully. I mean, hopefully I don't get too tanned. <laughs> I got some hand cream from Palmer's, which is really, really nice. This actually has coconut oil and vitamin E in it. I don't know the price because I actually got it in a goodie bag, but I really, really like it. It's very creamy and just, it's just nice and it has a nice smell as well. I got toothpaste from Wilkinson for ATP. This is the 100ml. This is actually the big size. 
I mean, I could have gotten a smaller one, but it's 100 mil, so why not? But important tip for when you're traveling is to make sure that you have the actual real travel size product. So everything is required to be 100 mil or less. Like it saves a lot of space, and you don't really need that much product if you're traveling for like two weeks or 11 days or three weeks. So I've got this bottle of mouthwash, which is really good. I also got some Nivea cleansing wipes, which is three in one, like eye makeup removing wipes. I got some Garnier micellar cleansing water. I got the eye infused one and I also got the regular one. I don't know why I got so much makeup removing products, but I mean, I'm going to be wearing makeup most of the time, so yeah, that's why. <laughs> I also got deodorant. This is the... 75 ml Dove compressed, you know, travel size deodorant. I got hand sanitizer. I think this is from Primark, but I'm not too sure. I forgot. I got a soap dish from Wilkinson, which was around 50p. And I got that because I got the African black soap, which is what I'm going to be using to wash my face when I'm in Jamaica. Because I mean, I'm on holiday, but skincare is still important, and the sun is hot as well. So I know that if I don't wear my sunscreen and all that, I'm going to start breaking out and I'm going to start looking all mm -mm, not right. So I need my soap and I'm going to actually bring my skincare with me as well. Not everything, but just certain things like the African black soap. And this is actually the real African black soap. So yeah, I stopped using this sheer moisture one and now I'm just using, I'm going to be using this one. So I got a pack of three face cloths from Primark and these ones are like super soft and it was literally like a pound I think, it was quite cheap because it's Primark. So I got some cotton pads to use to remove my makeup along with the Garnier Micellar cleansing waters and all them makeup removing products. For my hair I got a plastic comb from Wilkinson which was about one pound. I got a comb, one of these combs that I can use for my wig and I also got a wide tooth shower comb as well. So to lay down my wig, because I'm going to be changing wigs when I'm out there, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Styling Gel. This is the invisible black one and I got this from my local hair shop. It was $1.99. No, it was $2.99 actually. This one's more expensive than the yellow one because it's a lot stronger. And they actually make travel sizes in this, which I didn't even know. Like I went into the shop and I didn't realise that they had the travel size and I saw it and I was like, Oh my gosh, like I need that because I'm traveling, so I got some. Yes, so oh yeah. So today I was actually walking around in my area trying to find Ghost Bond Blue because I'm gonna be swimming a lot because <laughs> it's a beach holiday, so I'm gonna be swimming a lot. I'm gonna be in the beach, I'm gonna be in the sea. And listen, you see this wig, yeah? You see this wig? I don't want it to be dropping off my head. I don't wanna be swimming, and then when I look, my wig is over there and I'm over here. I don't want that to happen to me, so. I ordered myself some ghost bonded glue from Amazon and it should be coming pretty soon. It's stronger and I heard that that one's waterproof as well. I haven't used it before but I'm trusting these hairdressers with their recommendations. So to have my hair looking all nice and healthy I'm going to be using the macadamia oil for my hair. This is really really nice. Before I used to use the Moroccan argan oil in my hair but I couldn't find that one in the shop so I got this one. It works exactly the same and it's actually the same brand as well that I used to use so I know that it's going to work. And on this it says it works with all hair type. It's really good and I got it for £3.50 in savers. I also picked up a bottle of rubbing alcohol which I'm going to use to remove this wig because <laughs> when I change wigs I'm going to have to remove this one and because this gel is like I think it's water resistance yeah it's water resistance so I'm going to be using rubbing alcohol to remove it because I need to say I'm actually going to be pouring this into those little clay bottles because I'm going to need a good amount of it but I can't take this big heavy bottle with me it's just it's too much and it's too heavy for my suitcase if you're Jamaican then you know about Irish Spring Soap I'm taking two of these with me on holiday one is obviously going to be for me to shower with I hate shower gel I hate hate shower gel. I know that the hotel have shower gel. Oh yeah, they actually have bar soap as well, like these small little soaps, but I like myself some Irish Spring, so I'm going to bring this with me. And what I'm going to do, and what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to open the box and I'm going to put it in my suitcase because these soap, they have such a lovely, beautiful smell. This is the Irish Spring deodorant soap. It's deodorant. 
deodorant soap guys it has a lovely smell and it's in icy blast because they have aloe vera this is icy blast it smells real good so lastly i got myself one of these like black bonnets for my hair this is what i'm going to be using to put my hair up at night when i sleep because you know <laughs> i need to protect my hair and apparently this is infused with argan oil that's what it said on the thing but I really like it, it's silk as well, you know, so it really protects your hair. So I got up myself a pack of 60 mini Kirby pins, you know, these little like hair pins. It was one pound and I got it from Primark. I also got this perfume that I really, really love. I love this perfume so much. It's called Secret Fantasy and it's by Avon. It smells so lovely. I love this perfume so much. So I'm going to be bringing this on holiday with me and it's tiny as well. It's literally like 50 ml, so I've got two of them. I love these perfumes so much. So when it comes to makeup, I'm not going to show you guys every single thing. I'm literally going to show you my essentials that I'm going to be taking with me, which is the Black Opal Foundation Stick that I've been using, and this is in the shade Hazelnut, and I love this foundation stick so much. I'm wearing it right now, like, this foundation stick. I love it. So moving on, we're going to talk about clothing items that are essential. So first and foremost, you're going to need yourself some underwear. Okay, you're going to need some underwear. I get all my underwear. My bras are my underwear from Primark. Listen, Primark, they're the plug. These are my favourite thongs. See these thongs right here, yeah? Look at this. Look at this. These are my favourite thongs. I love these thongs so much. You get a pack of three and it was £2.50 and I get obviously extra small. <laughs> I literally got three pack of them because I love them so much. I also got these cotton lycra high leg briefs because yeah, although I like to look a bit sexy and wear my thongs, sometimes I just want to wear some briefs, you know. It's not everyday thongs, sometimes they occasionally call for it, but you have to wear some briefs. So yeah, I got me a pack of four. This is an extra small and it was £4.50. I got another set of three thongs, this time it's in the nude colour, a lightish brown and a white. This was £2.50. I also picked up these ones, you guys know these ones in it. I love these ones, these are my favourite along with the black ones but these, these are my favourite. They're £1 each so I picked up a couple. And this is the last, last item from my holiday essential and that is sleepwear. Like make sure you have something to sleep in when you're on holiday. This is a pyjama set that I got from Primark and it was £6. I love this so much. It's actually a friend's like reference t-shirt. It said I'd rather be watching Friends. I've never watched Friends before. I've never seen an episode of Friends but I thought this was really cute and I love the colour. I love the red and the pink together. Guess what? You guys are going to love this one. You guys are going to love this one. Look at this. It's Black Panther. Like Black Panther pyjamas. Isn't this cool? It's so amazing. I love it so much. I was like, oh my god, like when I saw it. So yeah, this is the Marvel's Black Panther pyjama set that I got from Primark, it was £6 and it's a set so you got the Wakanda Forever on the shorts, Queen of Wakanda on the top and the Black Panther logo and everything. Love it so much, this is the best pyjama set ever. I wish they had like a long sleeve version though so when I'm here, because obviously this is for a hot country, this is for holiday but when you're in the UK, honey, you need some long sleeve, you need some tracksuit bottoms, all of that. Because it's cold, you got to be freezing. Tip number one when you're travelling is to make sure that you get a list online of different holiday essentials. So just type it in on Google, a lot of lists will come up. And what you can do is pick and choose which item you think are important and make sure that you write a list of your own. You can write it on your phone, you can write it in a notes book or something like that. So you always have a list of the things that you need to bring with you that's personal to you. Tip number two is to always wear your heaviest item because at the end of the day, they're wearing your suitcase, they're not wearing you. So if you're planning to wear a denim jacket and it's quite heavy or, you know, jeans materials in itself is quite heavy and trainers. So if you're planning to bring a pair of trainers, wear them. If you're planning to bring a denim jacket, wear them. Or if you're going to somewhere like that's not hot, hot, hot. So if it's like quite cold and you need to carry a coat, wear the coat. You know, you're going to save a lot of space and a lot of weight in your suitcase by wearing the heavier items. 
Tip number three is that when you're packing, make sure that you put the smaller items in places like shoes that use all the space in your suitcase, put things inside your shoes, wrap things in tights, wrap things in tops and then tuck them into your suitcase so you save space. So tip number four is for people who are not planning to take a carry-on luggage with them but you are planning to take a hand luggage. So with me, I'm not going to be taking a little carry-on suitcase or anything like that but I am entitled to 7kg hand luggage which is why I'm going to be using this bag as my hand luggage. So this is not going to be weighed and it will not be inside my suitcase when I travel but when I get to my destination I'm going to be using it as a beach bag so it saves me having to carry around my normal suitcase and a hand luggage and you know it saves space in my suitcase so instead of putting that inside my suitcase and taking another hand luggage I can carry this to my destination and use it as a beach bag when I'm there. So this brings us to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was helpful, if it was make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I've got a couple days left until I actually go on holiday and I can't bloody wait, I'm gonna turn up, I'm gonna have so much fun, I can't wait guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video, I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next one.